Welcome back to another trip report. Today, I'm flying one of Ryanair's brand new 737 MAX 8s from here in Brno, Czech Republic, to London Stansted. The airport here in Brno is quite small, but looks modern on the outside due to its futuristic architecture. There are only two check-in and baggage drop counters open today, as there's not much traffic. After making it through security, I made it airside. While there are only a few gates in this airport, two out of the five are sectioned off for non-EU and Schengen flights, such as mine, to London. If you want to shop duty-free, make sure you do before you go through border control to get to those two sectioned off gates, as there are only a couple of vending machines in the waiting and seating areas after you do. Speaking of seating, there is not nearly enough for the amount of people that fly out of Brno Airport every day. There is also a chronic lack of power outlets and USB ports. My aircraft did arrive late coming in on its flight from London, but boarding did commence on time. Here is my aircraft for this evening's flight. This Boeing 737 MAX 8, registered Echo India, Hotel Golf Oscar, was delivered new to Ryanair in July of 2021. This aircraft was only 11 months old at the time when I flew on it. Anyway, I made my way to seat 15F for this hour and a half long flight. Taking a look at the seats, you will find that there are Ryanair's updated ones, with less padding and a more bare bones design. At each seat, you will find the safety card glued into the seat back. Below it, you will find the typical dirty Ryanair tray table. The 28 inch legroom is barely enough, even for a person of average height like me. These seats are hard and stiff. One interesting method of saving space is that Ryanair puts passenger life vests and oxygen masks up on the bulkhead to save space underneath the seats. This cabin already looked very worn out, even though it was barely a year old. This aircraft is also equipped with Boeing's Sky mood lighting interior. Due to the rather recent crashes and controversy with the 737 MAX, Ryanair and most other airlines refer to them as the 737-8. Our taxi commenced 15 minutes late. Here's our takeoff from runway 27 in Brno. Due to the fact that Ryanair is a low-cost carrier, there is no free onboard service. Ryanair doesn't equip their aircrafts with Wi-Fi either. After around an hour and a half of cruising at 34,000 feet, we commenced our descent and landing into London Stansted. Here is a typical Ryanair landing into runway 04 at London Stansted. Overall, I'd rate this flight 6 out of 10. Despite the aircraft's young age, it isn't clean nor sanitary, with the windows being quite dirty and crumbs everywhere. Considering the fact that we're still emerging from a global pandemic, this doesn't look good on Ryanair's part. The crew, however, were very kind and helpful with their passengers. If you are going to fly Ryanair, make sure to keep your expectations grounded. Anyways, that's all from me. Until next time, See ya.